Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have someone to introduce to you. Vivian Louise Bilson. So a lot of you guys have been following along with my pregnancy journey and watching all my pregnancy updates and I'm excited to announce that our baby has finally arrived. She was born on August 19th at about 5.30 in the morning and obviously it's a girl. We didn't find out this pregnancy so it was a surprise which was super fun and we named her Vivian Louise. Vivian is my great grandma's first name and Louise is my grandma's middle name and then also my husband's grandma's middle name so this is kind of a really special family name so she was only five pounds ten ounces when she was born she's just really really tiny my midwife actually thinks that she was probably even earlier than we thought she's guessing that she was born around 37 weeks even though we thought I was closer to 39 weeks. So if you guys watched my last pregnancy update and you saw that I had been dealing with some preterm labor, she almost came like two weeks earlier. I'm like really glad she didn't come that early. I would have definitely had to been, be, in, be in the hospital just with how little she is now. And if she had come even earlier, that just would have been bad. <laughs> so I'm glad she waited until she did, but she is just the tiniest little pumpkin. So I will film another video with her birth story because I'm really excited to sh tell the story to you guys. But it was about five hours total. Two and a half of that was pushing. She was kind of stuck, which was surprising to me with how little she was. I figured it would have been easier to push her out, but she just didn't want to come out. This was my first birth where I didn't tear at all, which has been so nice for recovery. And a little update on how I'm doing. I've been feeling great postpartum when it comes to like how sore I am down there because I didn't have to get stitches, which has been really nice. But yesterday, the second day, I got a massive kidney infection. So I've been really struggling with that. It's absolutely miserable, but I'm on an antibiotic now, which is kind of a bummer. I really didn't do not like antibiotics, especially breastfeeding, but kidney infections aren't something you want to mess around with. So I've been on the antibiotic for about 18 hours now and about the 24 hour mark, I should be feeling back to normal. I mean, as normal as you can feel when you're three days postpartum, so. I'm excited to kick this kidney infection <laughs> and just be having the normal postpartum stuff to deal with. But yes, she was uh, five pounds, 10 ounces, and she was 18 and a half inches long. She had a 10 out of 10 FGAR score. She's been nursing really, really well. She just latches super great. She hasn't had like any issues with spit up. My son had a lot of projectile vomiting, so I'm glad that she's not having any issues, issues with that because it just makes it easier for breastfeeding in the middle of the night that I don't have to worry as much about burping her. But she also sleeps super good. I'm sure it has something to do with that she's early and she's just sleepier than a full full term newborn. But she only wakes up to nurse like three or four times and in between those times she just lays next to me in bed and sleeps and she doesn't need to be like latched on to sleep. My other two kids would, were more like they would have to nurse and stay latched on to keep themselves asleep and if they fell off they would wake up and need to be latched back on. <laughs> but she's just perfectly content to lay next to me. She'll, I'll hear her stir and it, I feel like she's checking to make sure I'm still there and then she'll put herself back to sleep. But it's just been so nice, especially with dealing with this kidney infection that she just sleeps so well and she's just such an easy little baby. So I'm so excited that she's here and excited to finally introduce her to you and keep an eye out for her birth story. As soon as I'm feeling better for, all the way from my kidney infection, I will, will be filming that and writing it out as a blog post. But this little girl's getting hungry, so I better go, better go feed her. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!
Thank you.